Welcome back to the channel. And just when I thought Kaiser was done dropping some heat, they've dropped, what is it, one, two, three, four new models that just showed up. But before we get started with those, in my right pocket, I have the new Kaiser Sparrow in titanium and S35VN. This is a Blackbird Blades design, and it's a little bit bigger than the Vanguard version that's in my Carta. The action on this thing is ridiculous. Nice flipping action, nice reverse flick action, and it's comfortable. I've been carrying this one quite often. I've just been enjoying it. Uh, I do wish the clip was pushed back some more, but you know, other than that, I, I don't really notice it in my pocket, but yeah. Really nice. If you are weirded out by chalky textures, this is a rough blasted finish on here, so it is a little bit chalky, but I love this one. Nice raw stone wash, good jimping. Yeah, like I said, beautiful action. That's the first one, and it, it comes with a extra mill titanium pocket clip for this side. You can see the filler tab right there. Really nice. And in the left pocket, another Kaiser is uh, the Kaiser Mercury. I've been enjoying this one. It, it's it's a very impressive machining feat for Kaiser. At least this is, you know, the first or one of the first of this type for them. You got this nice contouring on the titanium with this beautiful micro milling, gold anno, clamshell construction, just meaning that both, instead of a backspacer, both halves meet up takes a lot more material and there's tons of internal milling in there blind screwed mill titanium pocket clip yeah you have that somewhat of a straight razor aesthetic right here s35 vn blade yeah, it has a nice uh, snappy action to it comes out nice and you know this is more of like a gentleman's style knife it's a smaller knife very slim in the pocket this is, hopefully you can see that right there. This is a Berkowitz design. It is a liner lock, inset liner lock, and the liner only comes up half the way. This thing weighs absolutely nothing and carries very well. You could, you could carry this in a shirt pocket, no problem. It's that light. I reviewed the Kaiser Veritas on the channel whenever they first dropped. I got one at Blade Show, and I absolutely love it. It's a Justin Lundquist design. It was in my top... 15 best knives of 2023 and at under $250 range. This is probably the first we've seen of this extensive micro milling from Kaiser and then the hidden filler tab right there. Nice contouring on here. Good looking knife, comfortable. I could kind of choke up there. Another raw stone wash S35 VN blade. Beautiful action and you got that signature square pivot. Well, now we have the murdered out version. So all black and you have the lightning anno on the square pivot, which the pivot's titanium. Also that lightning anno on the back spacer just for a pop of color and on the back pivot screw. You have the flat black, I'm guessing it's like a PVD coated blade and S35VN. So which one of these is your favorite? Of course, you know, there's gonna be some people that aren't into black bladed knives and you probably go with this one, but I like them both. Um, I, I think I prefer the stone wash a little bit more just because I, I like a good stone wash, but I also like, you know, the blacked out look here. It looks good, nice and classy. Detent on this one is perfect, just like on this one. And I found it's a little bit easier to do the front flip with this one because of that coating. It kind of gives you a little bit of tackiness. Yeah, super cool. Whichever one you choose. I will link everything that is available down in the description. Even those two knives I showed in the beginning. So if you're interested and you want to help support the channel, they are affiliate links, but don't feel obligated. These are the first of the new designs. We have the brand new Kaiser Gavel. You have brass bolsters on both sides. They're black jute micarta covers. Nice and tight fitment. No gaps on either side. Mill titanium pocket clip, and it looks like you have that same micarta for the backspacer. And look how minimal that flipper tab is. And I gotta say, I was a little bit nervous. They do have jimping. I was like, oh, that's gonna be uncomfortable. It's not gonna flip well. But you just put your finger on there and pull back, it comes out. It reminds me a lot of the Kaiser Drop Bear Blade. 
But, you know, that that's not saying a whole lot because this is just, you know, a pretty generic blade with the drop bear. That's why it's so popular. It's a little bit smaller than the drop bear. But because of that minimal flipper tab, it makes it very discreet. What do y'all think about this one? I don't know if they, they have any that don't have brass on them, but if they do, I'd probably rather that. Just because brass on top of stainless steel liners does make it a little bit weighty. But look at that. Perfect balance point. Kaiser did an excellent job there. Now it's not overly weighty. I hope I'm not making it sound like that. But pretty cool. This is whoop, an NBEDC design. Uh, that is Mark Perez. Got two more to go. Next up, we have the Kaiser Task. This is a Nick Consoli design. Hopefully, I'm not butchering that. You have a reversible deep carry pocket clip. Nice clutch lock, which means it's just an adjustable axis style lock. And the name of the knife is right here, the Task. And you can see they beveled this right here because you can loosen this stud up, I'm sure and slide it forward. I'm not 100%, but I'm pretty sure that's why they did that. Now, I saw this, hopefully, I don't know if it's gonna come across. Let's say we got coordinates, maybe. Maybe elevations, 250H, 154CM. These all, <laughs> the last three are all 154CM. Nice uh, reverse tanto blade or sheep's foot, drop point, whatever you wanna call it. I, I don't care. Yeah, nice size. Feels comfortable initially, good sharpening choil. I think this would have been even cooler if they went, being that you have this portion right here, if they would have kept this going right here so I could use that as a forward finger choil, it would have been awesome, being that you already have this portion cut out. You know, just kind of bring that back some. Especially being you got the axis lock, so you don't have to worry about, you know, you don't have to worry about it. Yeah, but it's a nice, clean design, and it's going to be an excellent utility blade. You can get that tip down to do some nice, fine detailing work. We got thoughts, black canvas micarta, nice little chamfer going all around. I did notice when I was squeezing down on it, and I, I don't know, it probably won't be a problem until I really start bearing down, but <laughs> see if I can show you. There's a pretty hard edge right here. You can see it on this side. Look right there. It's a hard edge on the micarta because of the deep chamfer right here. It's kind of sharp. Something I could easily fix with some 400 grit sandpaper. Just kind of rub it on there just to kind of roll that over a little bit. Got one more. Thought it looked pretty interesting as well. Saw it on their Instagram feed the other day. And that is a brand new Kaiser Cryptid. This is a Christian Senate maybe design I'm butchering that uh, there's the the makers mark right there the designers mark nice Warncliffe blade super super bulky bulky tip nice long row of jimping very comfortable and this one same thing I can do like a trigger finger uh, grip right here but if they would have brought this back to about right here, like went deeper, could have easily got a forward finger trawl there. And then this little scoop is so nice. Excellent utility blade to be able to get that tip into things. You got a nice smooth button lock action. Nice and snappy. Yeah, this one has really, really good action. Black canvas micarta, reversible deep carry pocket clip. And they inset the clip and the screws, unlike on this one. They countersunk the screws, but not the clip. And I don't know if I'll better show it, but this one, they've knocked those hard edges down. This one's very, very comfortable, very lightweight as well. And let me get them all out here so I can kind of show you the size differences. of. So there you go. That's all of them. Like I said, I will have links to everything down in the description. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, please leave those down below. I hope everybody's having an absolute amazing day. I will see y'all on the next one. He, 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 he.